Champions two years ago, the USA went into this year's Junior World Rugby Trophy as one of the favourites. At the heart of their challenge is 19-year-old prop Titi Lamosatelli. Find the country actually pretty cool. I've never been to, to Asia at all, so this is a good experience for me. And uh, being with the under 20s is good. It's great to play with, uh, you know, like my friends. I've, most of these guys are my friends from, from school, so it's good. But Titi is no stranger to international competition, having recently become the youngest player ever to represent the full USA national team. My first call up was, uh, was the last uh, summer tour for USA. It was against Canada, and so I was 18 years old at the time. It was kind of nerve-wracking times, but at the same time, fun and a good experience. You know, everybody has goals, and everybody wants to play for the, the top team in America, so it, it, meant, it meant a great deal to me. A latecomer to the game, having only played for the last three years, his talents were honed in other disciplines. My first actual love for sports was, uh, actually came through basketball. Uh, that seems to be one of the big American sports, I guess. But I also played uh, wrestling, uh, track and field, uh, American football. So I played um, like the, my first team on the high school almost every single year in all the sports I did. So it was all good and fun. Shortly after gaining international recognition, he signed his first professional contract with current English league leaders, Saracens. That actually was like kind of a long process of things. I started when I was playing under 17s. For USA, um, I played in a little tournament over in uh, in England, and where like some of the scouts saw me. And Saracens was the first team to uh, come up and talk to me. Ever since then, it's kind of been uh, just committing to it. And I, I moved there. I moved there about three months ago. So since I've been there, it's been great. And among his new teammates are some familiar faces. Swalls and and Hayden Smith are both there, so it's good. It's good to talk to some people that are familiar with the states and stuff, so it's good to uh, just kind of have a little bit of banter with them about the states. Physically, he's, he's well beyond, beyond his years, and um, he's the kind of player in USA Rugby that we need to nurture and keep, and for him being in a professional setup, that's, that's perfect. That's exactly where we need him. So um, at Saracens, I think he's under some, some really good coaches, and um, just just can't wait to see what he can do in the future. Alongside Wiles, Titi was part of the USA team that beat Uruguay last month to confirm their place at next year's World Cup. It's kind of like a shocking, kind of shocking awe, you know. I see all the guys that I watch on TV, and like Todd Clever and Samu Manoa, all those guys. It's kind of, I'm not gonna say scary, but it's like a kind of a wake-up call. They've been through this. Some guys have been to two World Cups already, so um, they. They kind of just brought us all together and, and, and said what had to be done and, and how to do it and whatnot, and we just followed them. For him to get exposure in, in the World Cup in England at this age will be, uh, will be great for USA Rugby moving forward. My goals in the future is just, just to get better, um, obviously get more caps for my country, be in that squad in the World Cup, um, that would be, that'd be amazing to me, especially it being in England, because uh, I'm kind of getting kind of settled in. So I just work hard and try to make that squad.